All right, moving on to the next section, we have the uh, present, present continues. All right, then again, here we have um, three cases, okay? The affirmative, or as we say, the positive form, the negative, and the interrogative form, or as we say, the question form. So the first form, we have subject plus to be plus uh, verb in the base form plus ing. So for example, she is talkative. So here we have subject plus to be in the present plus verb in the base form plus ing. All right. Then again, for example, if we say um, I, we say I am talking. All right. So I, we use um, I am. Then again, he, she, it, we use is, he is. And then we, you, they, we use are. They are. So they are talking, etc., etc. And then in the next case, which is the negative, we use subject uh, plus to be plus not plus the verb in the base form plus ing. So we say she, which is the subject, is not or isn't talking. Right? So we have subject plus to be in the present, plus not, plus verb in the base form, plus ing. She is not talking. The third and final case is the question form or the interrogative form. Uh, in, in this case, we use first the verb to be, all right? So we do a small inversion here. So we say to be plus the subject plus the base form plus ing. So we say, for example, is she talking? All right, so here we have um, the subject, I mean, the sorry, the verb to be plus the subject, she plus the verb in the base form plus ing. So we say, is she talking? Or for example, we can say, um, are they working? Um, am I going to school? Etc. Etc. And then we have a few more examples. So in the affirmative, we say, I am going, you are going, he, she, it, is going, we are going, you are going, and they are going. In the negative form, we say, I am, again, I am not going, you are not, or you aren't going, she is not going, or she isn't going. So you could either use the full form or the, or, or the short form, either one is completely fine. And then we have the, la the last form, which is the interrogative. So we say, again, we inverse. We say, am I going? Are you going? Is he going? Is she going? Etc. Etc. All right. So we're done with the forms, the negative, the interrogative, and the affirmative. We move to the usage. All right. So when do we use the present continuous? What is the appropriate time of using this, uh, this tense? All right, so um, I just would like to keep it pretty simple. So we say that we use the present continuous, for example, with unfinished actions now, temporary situations, temporary habits, or annoying habits. All right, I don't need you to, to really remember the complicated things, but whenever we have, for example, at the moment, these days, all right, things that indicate that this action is happening right now, we use the present continuous. So whenever there is something that is happening at the moment of speaking, right now, we use the present continuous. The second case is, for example, with the future. So when you have future definite plans, plans that are going to happen for sure, we use the present continuous. For example, you say, I'm meeting my father tomorrow. All right, so in this case, I need you to remember two things. We use the present continuous for things that are happening at the moment of speaking, or for definite future actions, things that would definitely happen in the future. Perfect. Then again, we move uh, to a small practice. Um, hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So we start with the first question. They come in over. For dinner. So which form of the verb to be do we use? Do we use is, are, or um? Alright, so we said 
I am, he, she, it is, we, you, they, are, so we say, are they coming over for dinner? The next question, Sarah not doing her homework. So what do we say, is, are, um. All right, so with the third person, which type or uh, which form of the verb to be should we use? Well, um, I guess you probably guessed it right. So we say Sarah is not doing homework because in this case we have a third person. Uh, question number three, my friends are at my place this weekend. So do we say stay, staying, or be staying? All right, the uh, present continuous form, as we know, is subject plus the verb to be plus the verb in the base form, plus ing. Out of these three, the one which respects this rule is number two. So we say, my friends are staying at my place this weekend. <coughs> then number four, we have I, my homework, right now. So do we use do, undoing, or doing? Again, which one of these respects the rule? So we say subject, plus to be, plus verb in the base form, plus ing, All right? The one, of course, which respects it is number, number two. Perfect. So we say, I am doing my homework right now. All right? Well done. And then, again, just a small recap of everything that we've seen. Again, the forms of the present continues are three. We have affirmative, negative, interrogative. So we say with the affirmative, we have subject plus to be plus verb plus ing. Then with the negative, we have subject plus to be in the present, of course, plus that plus verb plus ing. And with the interrogative, we have to be plus subject plus verb plus ing. And then when do we use it? We use it with actions happening right now, actions happening at the moment of speaking, or for future events or things that are definitely going to happen in the future.